Today I'm going to show you how to create Callaway style motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know him, Callaway is a creator known for clean visuals, storytelling and that super polished minimalist editing style. And his motion graphics are a big part of that. We're not going to use any plugins or After Effects, just a little bit of the Fusion page. I'll keep it as simple as possible. Let's dive in. We're going to recreate the intro of this video. So to show you exactly how to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we'll start with the big words, the Vinci Resolve. To do that, we'll need to cut the clip right where he's, where I say, <laughs> this handsome guy says the Vinci Resolve. Da Vinci. All right. So let's cut the clip there, S, Vinci and then resolve. right after I say the Vinci Resolve, I'm going to cut there again, and I'm going to duplicate that clip. To duplicate this clip, we're going to hold in Alt and just drag it up. Now we'll add in our title, select the text plus title, drag it in there, start with the first word, Da Vinci. Select your style and then increase the size of it. So next, go to the layout and then just move it up a little bit. This word will be behind my head and then let's transform it a little bit. So go to shading under softness. We'll add a little bit of a glow. So the X and Y axis, let's put that on about 10. Yes, so we blur it and then the blend will just drag it down a little bit. So you can see it's got a little bit of a glow. Then we'll duplicate this text layer, holding in Alt and dragging it to the top layer. Next word will be resolve and then go back to layout and just move this one down. Resolve is a little bit bigger, change the size of the text. Let's move Da Vinci a little bit up, divide the spacing evenly. That's a nice placement. Take the second clip, the duplicated clip and drag it on top of the text. We can move everything down or you can just right click and say delete empty tracks. So next, let's go into the fusion page. This is pretty straightforward. The media, this is literally the clip that we've selected and the media out, that's the final output. Between the media in and the media out, we'll add like a mask. Just open the search tool, control or command and spacebar if you have a Mac. Um, the select tool and search for mask. Add that on this yellow line there. Switch the mode to better and then just leave everything as is and then select the subject, whatever subject is. Select this tracking function with the two arrows, the one that goes forward and backwards. Click on that and DaVinci will do its job. Once it's done, so let's go back to the editing page and there we go. The words are in the background. Let's copy the resolve word again, holding Alt and drag it on top of the clip and then go to the transform or layout. Where do we go? Uh, shading, right? And then under appearance, select text outline appearance. So now we just need to refine it a little bit. I'm going to drag the thickness down. I'll blend the glow in a little bit more. Highlight all the clips. Right click, select new compound clip. There we go. Perfect. The next part is the animation at the start. Drag in another text layer. This is where we go in. To create Callaway style motion graphics, Yes, perfect. Add in the words, Callaway style motion graphics. We'll go down to the H anchor and just press left. And then we can go to layout and just move it to the left and choose your font. And then we'll go to back to shading and then under softness, let's add some glow. But before we go into the fusion page, in the text box, right click and select follower. Okay, now we can go into the fusion page, go to the layout. I know the previous versions of DaVinci Resolve, it didn't, it didn't say text box, it said frame. If you're still on an older version of DaVinci Resolve, you can just select frame. Then we'll go to modifiers, under transform, select words. We'll go to frame number 10, select a keyframe on frame number 10, go back to frame zero, and then just pull it up a little bit. When you play it, it should go down. Now the next thing we want to do is go to shading and under opacity, we'll select a keyframe there and then go back to 10 select a keyframe, go back to zero and just pull it down a little bit. So now it will fade in and go down like that. Select the spline and just enable everything there. Select zoom to fit, zoom out a little bit and highlight everything and go down here to smooth and this will give you a smoother animation. We can go to timing and up the delay a little bit. Between 2 and 1.8, somewhere there. Maybe 0 0.5. There we go. When we go back to the edit page, how to create Callaway style motion graphics in DaVinci. The next part will be this screen in screen effect, this last clip. Um, right click on it, 
and say create reference composition. Now you can go into the fusion page from here and this is pretty simple. Selecting your media in, select control and space or command and space if you're on a Mac and search for transform but don't select the one with the XF in bracket, select the one below that because that one has crop function. Go to the zoom and just zoom out a little bit or you can zoom out a lot. Image adjustment, softness and round edges. So we'll make the edges a little bit round to make it smooth and increase the softness a little bit. Open your select tool again and search for shadow. We just want the shadow. Now this one looks a little bit different. Select our color and make it white and then softness, just increase the softness a little bit that's basically it. To animate this, let's add a track below these two. So I need an empty video track because we can add like a background. If you go to generators, use this noise gradient. It looks pretty cool. Make it darker a little bit and the white part of the gradient, pull it down to gray. Now to do the transition, click on this one and then just under transform, zoom it in a little bit. And then with the arrows on your keyboard, go back and forth, see if you can match them at least the same size. I'm just going to go back a little bit, see if you can. There we go. That's not super jumpy. Go to video transitions and add a cross dissolve on there. It's not too distracting. And then what we can do is Add a keyframe just right after the dissolve and then we'll go forward a couple of frames and then we'll zoom out. Go onto your keyframes and then go to parameters. Highlight these two keyframes and then select ease in and out. That's pretty cool. This is pre-created. So you can save this reference comp in your power buttons. Basically drag it into your power buttons. Same with the text effects. You don't have to recreate it. Just drag it into your power buttons and it will be there for all your future projects. There we go. If you'd like more tutorials like this, drop a comment and let me know. I'll see you next time.